Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Geralt is saying hello as well. Uh, this is Veratan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. We are in the last homely house, ready to begin Book 14 of the Epic. You remember, uh, Laradan is gonna begin his journey to Aregion, but he needs us for us to to talk to some people beforehand, and that's what we're gonna do. The first stop is Filaknanet in the Hall of Fire. Which is right over here. I don't remember exactly what we need to ask Lelecnanet for, but we'll find out soon enough. And Bilbo has another quest. Can I take a moment of your time? All right, yeah, that's the the Goblin Town quest. Uh, that involves a lot of back and forth to Goblin Town, so that's why we didn't do it. You may be of service to me. Great things, Briathan. Laridan's journey is not unknown to me. I have gathered many provisions, but I lack the fine clover honey. I need to prefer Lembas, the way bread of the Yelts. I am given to understand, however, that there is an expert cook in the Shire, the land of the halflings. Young Peregrine Took suggested I'd send someone to Mikkel Delvin to find this cook, but the journey is far and we are busy with many preparations. Perhaps you would undertake this task? Journey to Mikkel Delvin in the Shire, far to the west of Rivendell, and purchase some fine clover honey, then return to me. And um, do we do we really need to go to the Shire for that? Wouldn't a, any supplier do? to you? A supplier, not a provisioner. Um, How may I be of service to you? Yeah, it seems that any supplier would have this uh, drop of pine clover honey. So, yeah, we don't need to go to the to the Shire for this. Thank God. Hail, friend, and well met. Yes, this will do nicely. A very rich gold and sweet from the comb. You may let Laredon know that the Lembas will be ready ere his journey begins. Okay, thankfully, yeah, we didn't need to go to the Shire. Now let us pour to Tinodir and uh, talk to Nat Collop. We are picking up Laredon's horse. Anytime now. Okay, so Nat, call up. Where is he? Or Hallway? Callum Glad. Well, Callum Glad has a quest that we can complete since we are going that way anyway, so let us pick that one. How can I be of service? Have you yet been to the encampment of our brothers in the North Downs? Once her Esteldin still serves us honorably even one, even now as a base for our rangers to train and prepare as the forces of Angmar pour down from the northern wastes. Now that we don't need your help here, but you may wish to speak with Nethur in Esteldin. I've heard that matters there have become quite dire as the orcs encamp in even greater numbers and threaten to overwhelm our people. So we're going to Esteldin on, um, anyway, because that's the fastest way of getting to God for near, so that's why. And here we have Nat Collop. Would you do something for me? Well now, Laridan sends you to bring his horse back to him? That'll be a mite difficult. You see, he badly needs new shoes, and I haven't the materials to finish them. Without some dwarf steel culture molds, there's not much more I can do. I hear there's an expert metalsmith at Torrens Hall out in the Blue Mountains way off to the west, who might have some, but I can't leave. Perhaps you would make the journey to Thorin's Hall and purchase a few of the molds. I'm sure I could make it worth your while. Okay, once again, so these guys are asking us to do quite a long journey, but once again, I don't think that's necessary. Let us check the supplier here as well. Um, dwarf steel cutlery molds. Supplier. Supplier, supplier, supplier here. 
What do you need? Uh, the dwarfs heal. Ah, here he is. Here it is. And we need five of this. Perfect. So we'll just deliver this to him. And yeah, thank god that we don't need to make these long journeys. I wonder, however, if this was different back when this book was initially released and if those items were only available at the locations the quest givers are saying. Greetings. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about that. Well, this will do right nicely, Verathan. We're better to get dwarf steel mouths than dwarves. You tell Master Laradan that I'll send a rider down with Ariel as soon as the new shoes are finished. And finally, let us go to Esteldin. Okay, so I hope this quest that we just picked uh, from Kalanglad, uh, talking to Nethur, will give us some reputation, even if it's just a little bit, but every little bit helps on our way to Kindred. Especially since we didn't spend too much time in, in Esteldin. So if that gives us a reputation with them, with the Council of the North, no. No, not the Council of the North. That is Ankmar reputation. God, what's the reputation in Esteldin? Rangers of Esteldin. Easily enough. So if this gives us some reputation with the Rangers, uh, I'll be satisfied with the outcome. So please let it be. How can I be of service? Well, 500 reputation. That's good. How long let send you? Ha! <laughs> And here I thought they might need your help even more than we. But it is true that matters here are not to my liking, for the orcs outnumber our forces greatly, and it is only a matter of time before the last bastions of the north come under attack. That was it basically, so a really short quest, but a fitting reward nonetheless, and useful reward at that. Meals, but that's for roving threats, if I'm not mistaken. So, in any case, let us talk to the stable master, Arohan, and travel to Gat Fornir. Tell Galadir what we need. While we are on our way there, let me show you. I've been also working towards uh, my, my tier 5. Scholar Mastery, which I'm gonna show you in just a sec. Uh, so, maybe I told you this before, but I think the fastest way of leveling up is Scholar Crafting is by means of crafting either Battle Lores or Warding Lores. But I wasn't able to find the recipe, and after a quick journey to the wiki, I found out that you just needed to purchase that recipe from a an expert scholar, and there are many of those across Middle Earth. There is one in Elrond's library, so I went, purchased those recipes, and leveled up my my scholarly a little bit. I'm almost done with mastery, as you can see here, so I'm quite happy with that as well. Now for here, I'll buy a skin. I think I got rid of that. That's a shame. Armor carapaces, broken wooden clubs. Jeweled sword shits. I have 18. Um, monsters filled. I have 10. And monsters wings. So, all in all, I have enough task materials for 4 tasks. And I am in need of another 
3, but I think that we can do this. So, let us take ask for wooden clubs, a jeweled sword sheets, a monstrous field, and I think that's it for the moment. Albino skins, yeah. I didn't, didn't take that one. So, let, let us turn this in. Oh, a dwarf mounted on a boar. Wouldn't you know? Let me take a, a look at you because you look really nice. How far for the memory? Nah. Cool pick, I believe. What do you need? Good use of this. Greetings. Okay. How can I be of service? Might I take a moment of your time? Let us talk to Gallagher now that we are here by the door. And I hope Gallagher doesn't send us on a long quest Could here. Could I speak with you a moment? Alas! I know not I know not where Lardan's breastplate may lie. I do not recall him wearing it when we came to Gatfortnir. There is one place you may look, but it is a terrible place it is a terrible and dangerous place. When we first passed Ramazeluon, we took refuge at a place called Dorendad in Imlat Valhort. When the dead arose, we fled and left the match behind. Perhaps Lardan's breastplate was among those belongings. If you wish to search Dolendad, you will find the entrance in Imlat Valcourt to the south and west of Merkward, but beware the dead. This seems a little bit more sensible than the others in the sense that Come, I think we're gonna... Word with you. Uh, there, there is a reason for, for Galadir to send us where he is sending us, instead of just a quick trip Stay to the supplier. Moment. Stay a moment. But I think this is also a great moment to Would you do something for me? Pick up a quest. I'll speak with you a moment. I don't remember what NPC offers the quest I'm looking for. Will you lend me your ear? I would be grateful for your assistance. Might I take a moment of your time? Could I speak with you a moment? Jesus, I don't remember it. Would you do something for me? What I'm looking for is um, a quest to kill spiders because the spiders drop an item that we will need later and um, would be a good idea to get a quest just to, to take a little bit of can I speak with you a profit from it. And this is the quest. There is a great spider that lurks in Himbor. Her eggs are prized by the Iron Crown, as the hatchlings can be trained by the Anchorim to fight for the enemy. You must kill the spiders and their elder protectors northeast of Himbar in Thoriki Bogbereth. When facing the broodlings, beware. They can burrow into the earth and escape your attacks. You must exercise caution while hunting the spiders. Bogbereth stalks those lands, and she may be hunting you as well. Might I take a moment of your time? So we're not going into Bogbert's lair per se, but... But well, I think there is a good chance that we will find enough spiders on our way to Imlat Valcourt. But that's why I'm picking the quest. We need some of those uh, spider dinnerets, I think it is. So, better to have a quest to accompany that as well. We don't need that straight away, but at some point the game is gonna ask that of us, and I don't think I have enough of those for it in the bank.
So, the Broodlings, they are definitely mm, in Buckbird's lair. And once again, I'm not sure we are actually gonna go there, at least for the time being, if we find ourselves in need of more spider spinnerets. I'm gonna take uh, that route, but otherwise, I'm gonna avoid that. Let us continue, and here it is. Captains and Wardens need uh, the Coiled Spider Spinnerets. We have five for the moment, but I don't remember how much of them we will need. And if we are lucky and we get another Monstrous Field, we might be able to... Might be able to, to complete an extra task when we return to Godford near. The thing is, there are not any spiders on the area, and I don't want to go into Bugbird's Lair just yet. Let us pray that we can find some more spiders on our way south. Okay, there is a spider in here. Since there is another one already in here, let us try our luck with this one as well. And with this one. Okay, no luck with that one, but still we got monstrous spill. So theoretically we can get two more tasks done, but that means we'll be standing at five out of seven instead of instead of four. And if we get more drops from these spiders or from the place where we are going, we might be able to complete all our tasks for today in Ankmar alone. to wait and see if we are that lucky indeed. Okay, another spider in here. I think we only need 10 of each of these monster trophies but um, I'm not so sure so I would rather have some some extra so that's why I also have like 15 or 20 uh, revered white remains on my bolt and I plan to do the same with this the spider spinnerets uh, we will also need uh, Vargas Ales, I believe it is, and the Vargas are located on um, in Lat Valfort, where we are going now. So, also gonna keep an eye open for those guys. Attack it, please. Okay. So. We're lucky and we get in another Artmer Carpass. We we will have enough items for today's tasks. Oh yeah, that was that was not that bad. Hopefully this guy will have it. Yeah, it is. That's great. And here are the Vargas uh, we need. Vermin's 
missing only 8 whites as well to complete the racial lead. So it would be a good idea doing that now that we are here in the area. One thing at a time though. I think I remember now where we are going and what we're gonna find as well. Remember that water could silence you. And that's a bad one. That's a bad effect to receive as a warden. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, please, leave me alone. Alright. There's another. Orgus here. Ah! Ah! And this is the place where we were going. Yeah. I think the entrance is through here. Golden Dot. Yeah. This is where we are going. In the confusion which ensued during the abandonment of Dolandarth, many things were left behind by Golodir's company. Not the least of which was the breastplate of the Elf Lord Leardan, but other things lie there as well, best left buried. Okay, so here we are. We have the uh, the inspiration buff, so we're we are ready to get inside what else we can find. So let us pull as many of these guys as we can. Oh jeez. What is that? This is awesome. So, by defeating that white, we have completed the Enmity of the Dead 3, and we have the Trade Man for damage bonus, which is really useful. So, Enmity of the Dead, that's number one. This is number two. And this is number three, finally. The Sword Damage Racial plus 15 Lotro points. So, before we continue, let us equip that one, actually. Uh, here. Because this will give us an an edge, well, an extra edge. Not maybe not too big of a difference, but still good to have. Okay, so is the press plate in here? That I have no idea. That didn't sound good.
guys should be going down any second now. And please tell me this is the one. Locker is empty. Laredon's breastplate lies elsewhere. The cave rumbles. Something has awoken. Jesus, that was... This is really creepy. This will surely be the guy we're looking for. Exactly, Goel Gore. Gonna pick him up in just a moment. Let me see if we got something good in here. Supreme Cook, no, we don't need that yet. Grizzly Bat Talon, that's Captain the Guardian's Minstrels on the Warning, so no. Let's fight Goelgur. Ah, just as I have foreseen. You have come for the Elf's armor, have you not? Well, your search has not been in vain, for here it is. Unfortunately, your search has also led to your doom. Took a little bit longer, but we were able to get really a lot of gambits for the class. It's that's why taking my time. Here is the breastplate. But this is not gonna bring us back to God Fournier. But the good thing about having to make our way back is that we can. Look for more Vargas along the way and uh, hopefully get enough items from them. I hope really that we would only need 10 of each, but once again, since I'm not sure, taking as much as I can and not falling into that trap again. Going into the water where you can silence me. Okay, so there are more Vargas in here, so I think this really warrants uh, the, the detour. Vargas in here. Or this patch, good. Would be nice if we could get more of those, but one is good enough, I guess. And this it gives as much XP as you can get. 
So, let us see this now. Let us check this. Well, I think this is the way up to a dwarf encampment on the area. But, uh, once again, we don't really need to go there, so we're gonna skip that for the moment. It is paused, are for captains and room keepers. Let us get the for this bitch. And let us get the tails. So, how many tails do we have again? Nine. Plus the ones that we have on the bolt, I think we are good to go. I hope. Not that far away from God Fortnir. Um, ah! let us grab a lot of these guys. Build. Do you need help? Bigger yeah, instead of <laughs> just watching, I might as well give you some help. on my way. Okay. So yeah, I think this is a, a, a quest that we previously picked up finding one of the ranger scouts. And as much as I like Ankmor, especially, well, right now, it looks as good as it can for for a land of the enemy, really. But there is a, a really nice light today, I guess. It's still Ankmore, but it doesn't really look that bad at this time of day. But in any case, as much as I'm enjoying my time in here, I don't want to stay too long in here. Alright, so this is more like Ankmore. But even in the middle of the day, it feels kind of sick. Yeah, this, this feels more like it. Here, let us pick some extra quests. Uh, armor car pauses and uh, gold store sheets. No, we don't have the monstrous field and the monstrous wings. No, <coughs> only to come back.
Greetings. What can I do for you? What do you need? There's one more. As we are about to leave Gapfornir, so might as well do this while we can. First field. Yeah. How can I be of service? Okay, so that's the task limit for today. Let us go back to Voladir. Greetings. I see you have found the breastplate, but it, it, it is in too poor condition to give to Larda now. Allow me to have one of the dwarves here repair it. I would consider it a gift to my friend. I will have it brought by one of our messengers to Esteldin and on to Rivendell. Veda, Julie, Vitality, Fate. A good cloak, but yeah, not, not much of an upgrade, so... Anyway, let us go back to Rivendell and let Lard know we have done everything he asked us to do. Plus a little bit more. And be on to our journey south, oh, I think. Ready, finally ready to enter the lands of Ur again. And even though Eregion is um, quite a, a lengthy a lengthy zone from what I remember. And we still have two two books left in volume one, but it feels like for me it already feels like the end. We are on the final lap. Uh, as, as a matter of saying. And uh, I'm already getting kinda nostalgic about it. Here is a note. The door to Larden's room appears to be locked and the note has been pinned nearby. Berithan, I must apologize, but I did not think you would understand. Your tasks were a little more than a diversion. I have departed already from Rivendell and have taken with me the shards of Narkwheel. I must return them to Narmalith or her mind will never be made whole. The love of my daughter, alas, must supersede all else. May the light of the stars shine upon your path. God. That doesn't sound good at all. Let us bring this note to, to Master Elrond. And see what does he have to say about the, the matter. Hope is not in vain. Lardan has taken the shards of Narhuil to Marthiel. This is dread news, my friend. This development forces our hand. Will you lend me your aid once more? Berathan, it seems that Amarthiel's tormentor succeeded in breaking Lardan's mind. He has left Rivendell and seeks to bring the shards of Narhuil to Amarthiel in the vain hope of restoring her mind to Narmalin. Time is of the essence. We must learn quickly how far ahead Laradan has gone. We must try to overtake him before he can complete his purpose. Quick with Ladrohan, the stable master, at the stables to the west of here. We will surely have seen Laradan. Yeah, I agree with Elrond. It seems Laradan has been... Not corrupted, necessarily, but... He has been fooled. By Amarthil and his servants. And on the light of the recent events... Our past victories now seem hollow, diminished. Because remember how much did it cost us recovering both halves of Narquil from Ankmar and Forkhill 
so that we could bring them back to to Laradan only for him to go to Amarthil and, and and give her the ring. <laughs> oh god, I I didn't remember this. Uh, I believed. I I believed. Yeah, Amarthil was gonna take the ring by force. But that is not always the way of the enemy. The enemy has also ways of fooling people, making you believe things that are not necessarily true. And it seems Laredan was victim of that. But that, that is another reminder that the enemy might show to you as a uh, fear and wise. But just a trick. The trick that the enemy has used quite a lot. If you remember the tale of Anatar and the Rings of Power in Region, and even then, even before then, the well no, later, actually Anatar was first, but afterwards the fall of Numenor, all that happened because of the schemes of the enemy. What do you need? You seek news of Lardan? He came to me two days ago seeking the, the use of a horse. He said that Master Elrond had given him leave to seek the traitorous Amarthil. This was not the case? Please tell Lord Elrond immediately. Oh, you believe I will. Yeah, we're going, Garalip. We are two days behind Lardan, so we might already be... A little bit south of the fort, maybe, but not too much. So, we didn't meet in the wave for just a little bit. Although, when you consider everything that Lard and Hadas do, going to, to well, Evendim and Ankmar to recover some things. And well, we were able to save ourselves a trip to the Shire and to Red Luin. But even then, having only a 2 advantage, I think it speaks greatly of the speed at which we travel. Elrond it is. Dark days are coming. The news becomes more dire with each passing moment. Alas for Lyrdan. There is no time left to lose. We must act at once. Hope is not in vain. Your news is most distressing, Briathan. I fear Lardan's will was broken under the torments of Amarthil. You have my approval to search Lardan's room for anything that reveals the full purpose of his departure. I fear there is little time, for if he brings the shards of Narquil to Mirovil, Amarthil is sure to be waiting there. Lardan's room is in this very house. Go now and return when you have learned more. Alright, so it wasn't Mortron for this time, the one that gave us the slip, not even a Martial, it was just Laradan, a treachery from inside. That's what hurts the most. Okay, so we need to, to take a look in here. Coil of elf rope. You find a coil of rope which Laradan had clearly intended to take with him, but apparently overlooked in his haste to leave. This pack was evidently left behind intentionally, for it is terribly worn and would likely not have survived a long journey. And this is the final thing in here. A map of Eregion. 
This map has a route sketch across it from Rivendell south to Regian, but it contains no other clues. Paragon's journal, where is it? I don't see it. Right, I don't remember getting the journal, but we already have it, so let us go to Elrond then. Hope is not in vain. No, we didn't get the journal, but the quest text led me to believe we had. Yeah, that, that was weird. I didn't see it, so okay. Back again to Larden's room. Sorry for that. It's been a long while since I've done this quest. So yeah, these details are lost to me. But I don't see signs of the diary in here anywhere. Charlie, for God's sake, you are... You are making me nervous. What are you doing? I mean... Okay, this is Larian's journal. This journal contains many entries, but it lay open at one particular passage. The entry the journal was open to detail Laridan's imprisonment at Samat Vowel and his torture at the hands of Omartiel and her minions. Alright, so we are gonna read Laridan's journal. Laridan's account of his capture and torture in the prison of Samat Vowel. And I think this is the very, very, the very first uh, session play we have on the series. So. That leads me to believe they were introduced with the region, am I right? Maybe not. Let me know in the comments, please. When was the first session play introduced to the game? In Samoth Bow, the Elf Lord Laird was tormented, both in body and mind. Even elves can only endure for so long, though Laird and resisted to the last. When pain alone proved ineffective, Amarthiel turned to deception. Here we are in the inn of an Ankmarim. What are our skills? Two cuts, a frontal attack, and AoE. This is a bleed. Another AoE. And another melee skill. Okay, so... This is us, I guess. Let us see. I will show you pain. I have an important assignment for you, Bloodletter. If you carry it out well, I might allow you your choice of the treasures from our la latest captives. The Trev Galorg may be poor, but sometimes they fashion things of great worth, and you might earn yourself a pretty bubble. I have received word that our mistress will be coming to Samothvowel to question the Elf Laradan, and I want everything to run smoothly during her visit. The corpses in the tower have given rise to tremendous blood leeches, and their filth and disease has been... distracting for the rest of my servants. I want you to destroy the blood leeches before the mistress arrives. We're on cleaning duty. Here we have Lara then. Your mistress is wasting her time, blood litter. Yeah, we'll see about that, F Lord. Long may the minstrel sing the defiance of Lara of Lyndon.
That seems that's all I had to say for a moment. Yeah. So, why did the glitches again? Do we need to kill? Eight. So what's the way down? Is it through here? Lozidurk. You remember Lozidurk, right? We faced him in, in event in first in Anuminas. And then we faced him again in Ankmar, who was guarding the entrance to Samat Pau. But yeah, we cannot exit. Just missing one leech, and I have no idea where it is, but. Okay was right by the stairs that's my bad there okay, so now we need to make our way back to Morven where was it? I think it was through here You have cleared the Tower of Blood Leeches. You will go far, Blood Letter. Perhaps I will tell our mistress of your dedication when she arrives. What? The Tar Crypt are all asleep? And Lazadruk as well? I would never question our mistress, but I do not understand why she would send such spineless sluggards to guard Samad Baal. Probably the Blood Letters under my command are sufficient. Awaken all of the sleeping Tar Crypt and the useless Gorturok as well. If used to be Key Master, he should be at his post outside a tower. Use your boot if necessary, blood letter. This tarn creep appear worthless, but the mistress was very clear they be used. Alright, so yeah, we'll go and wake them up. I need to wake up those... Four of those guys... No, eight of those guys. Then keeps his defiance. Not for long, though. I don't think so. Alright, so there are a lot of sluggards in here. Wake up! Would have been better if you would have had us dispatch the leeches and wake up the orcs at the same time. The same.
Alright, I lost the Duracat at last. I cap you, lazy Gortorok. Guard house, I'm going, but don't let me see you when I come back, puny one. You're not gonna be seeing anyone ever again. Let us go back to Morven. And let her know we did what she wanted, wanted us to do. mistress has arrived, blood letter. As you have been of such use, I grant you this boon. To watch her interrogation of the elf Laradan, some few of your brothers have also been given this great honor that they too may be rewarded. Let us watch the interrogation, blood letter. This should be amusing. Is Will is strong, mistress? Yes, we are fortunate. Fortunate? I do not understand. It, I, it will make Lardan a more useful pawn. Father. Armelet? My daughter, is that you? How can this be? I don't have much time, father. I cannot resist her for long. Is Narquil still hidden from them? Off they have found, pulling the location from my mind. I am sorry. But I have strengthened my resolve, they will never find the second half of Narquil. <laughs> my daughter, why do you cry? It was the power of Narquil that brought me under her spell, father. Only its power can free me from Amartiel forever. But the ring lies sundered broken in two. Its power remains. If the two halves were brought together, I could reforge Narquil. I could save you. One half of the ring is being kept in the fastness of Baradurgul. Perhaps one of your friends could retrieve it for you. But where lies the other half of Narquil? Forhill. It is somewhere in Forhill, but I do not know where. Thank you, father. The other half of Narquil is somewhere near the Ice Bay. Mistress, I would be honored to travel north in search of the ring. No, Morven, I have need of you here. There are other... What's wrong, Mistress? Closer Duke is dead. Laradan's allies will be here soon. Prepare yourself, Morven. Your death will be of some use to Ankmar. Blood letter, come here. My lord will soon have the ring. You heard our mistress. Allies of the elf will soon arrive to bring him to freedom. Return him at once to his cell, blood letter. We will not give his friends the pleasure of seeing him alive. 
Bring Laridon to his cell, you others. Search these bodies for anything useful. And this is how we found Laridon, so I guess we weren't able to bring him back to his cell, or at least this blood letter wasn't able to. A loud crash echoes across the room. It's too late, blood letter. The elf will die here, as will we. Warankmar and the mistress. Okay, that is the end of the session play. It's kind of funny, right? How it was only a matter of seconds in between the death of Lazdurk and the arrival of Laredan's allies, that is us. <laughs> but if you remember that episode, oh god, it took us so long finding Baradurgul. So maybe Amartil received that news late? Yeah, I, I know, we are overthinking that, but it's kind of fun, in a way, to overthink that kind of things. So finish reading the journal. In his journal, Lardan refers to his visitation by Narmelith as an epiphany. He came to believe that he could free her by giving her Narquil the ring of Amarthiel. But that was not to be. You'll learn nothing more from Lardan's journal than the details of his imprisonment and his encounters with Amarthiel and Narmelith, real or imagined. Elrond may understand more of these things than you. Alright, so we are already over an hour, so I guess we're just gonna bring these sightings to Elrond before we, we finish for today, but because that we are so ready to begin the next step of our journey, so I want to leave everything ready before we do. Will you lend me your aid once more? Alas, this is sorrowful and dreadful news you bring, Bryothan. I now understand how Lardan was broken. The evils on Pakmar are truly great if they can turn a father's love for his daughter into a terrible weapon. This forebodes a greater evil still. Will you lend me your aid once more? I dread what is to come, Bryothan. Lardan's journal brings me great distress. I fear the deceptions of a martyr will bring Lardan to a terrible end. Will you hear me? Of course we will listen to you, Master Elrond, but that will come on the next episode of Citadel Guard Adventures, as this one is already quite lengthy. In any case, thank you for watching this episode and for following me on the journey. Join me next time, we will finish talking to Elrond and hopefully begin our journey south towards Eregion. We'll find out on the next episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. For the time being, my friends, thank you once again. Stay safe, take care, and I hope to see you soon on the next episode. Bye-bye, see you later.